So some of you were asking how I get height in my hair. Um, well, I use a pomade. This is one that I recently changed to. It's by Layrite. So this pomade is really amazing. So I use this. And then um, if I want some of these hairs to not like fall back, like in the very back, I will hit it with like a quick spray of this freeze. Very light on that because the pomade really holds it in place. But with the curl, some of them want to curl the opposite direction and I don't want that. So I um, use that for just with the curls. But normally just if I'm like styling my hair, I just use this uh, pomade, the Lay Right, and just put it in there. And it gets very nice volume on itself and it stays in place really well. So before I do the curls, I put a little bit of this in there. And this is what it looks like. It's just white, but it goes in clear. So not a lot, um, like that much. And I put it on my fingertips. And I just run it through my hair. So then when it does the curling, it gets like a nice, I don't know. To me, it just stays together better. But So that's how the pomade looks, just like on its own. And it styles very nice. My hair is a little long, but you can see, look at that. It gives very well height. If you put in just a little bit more, it'll even help the height. But I like it to lay a little more forward. And the curls are going to really give it some volume. So, yeah, I hope that answers some questions. And this pomade smells so nice. I got mine on Amazon. I don't know where to get it in store, actually. So I went to Amazon because I saw someone on TikTok using it. So Jackie is separating out my hair, I guess. <laughs> She's the, I don't know what, if she starts from the back. To from the, the front. From the front. Yeah. To the back. Just don't move. I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> I love my hair color right now. I really love it when it's faded. My point is to put it in and fade it out. I love it. So we're using a artist wave. Watch out for my, it's really close to my forehead. Put your head Ooh. face down. Yeah. Look at that. Artist wave by Bedhead. I think we got it in. Either Ulta or Target. It's so hard, hold on, put your head back. It's so hard to do this with the phone. With the phone, what's the phone doing to you? Oh my God, it's so hot to my head, whoa. That was, that was warm. The phone is so distracting. Looks like I have little horns. Yeah. Don't be distracted with the phone. Okay, you focus on not burning my scalp. And we just get curls. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. She's camera shy. Camera well, shy. I just, you know, don't have my best face on. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Look at this face. It's always looking like this. And it's not a best face. Ah, oh, I just love my hair though. So yeah, it's gonna give it lots of volume. And these ways, I want to get a perm now. <laughs> I'm about to perm my hair up with loose, but Put not the down? not the tight perm not, though. Not all the way down. Yeah. Not a tight perm, a loose perm. Obviously, I do not need little tiny ringlets. Um, I'll just look hideous. I want it like this, where it's a loose curl. I love it. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. Look at that ombre effect in my hair. <laughs> I use two different pinks too, and that's how it helps get that color. Once it starts fading, it does that. It's so cool. The best, like I said, the best part of my coloring is when it's fading. I love it. I know it looks really cool when it's like super bright and pigmented as well, but I love all stages of it. It lasts forever, and it starts off cool, and it fades. To the very end, it always looks really nice. So that's Lime Crime is the color, is the brand I use. They have a few different colors. Oh. <laughs> yeah, check that out. We're going to style it soon. Okay, so we're done. <laughs> Don't you just love it? This is my new look. I um, love, love, love this look. No, we're going to mix it together. We're not going to leave it like this. But I just wanted to show you guys how... It looks looks pretty cool so now we're gonna fix it a little bit more with probably some more pomade just a little bit and then a little bit of that Aussie instant freeze hairspray we might not need the hairspray I only needed the hairspray I think yesterday because Jackie told me she did the midsection curls back 
and then these were so this was forward the middle was back and then the front was I mean the back was forward and that's why I had like a couple curls that were going the opposite way of the party like everybody should have been going one direction no not the band but we all should have been going one direction and they weren't so I might just need the pomade to um, keep it more where I want it so I'm just gonna mix just gonna oh, take out the I like I want the waves right to get the volume and just like a different style with my hair but I don't necessarily want the waves how they were so I'm gonna use a little bit of pomade again oh, yeah it was a lot, a lot of it a little bit Ooh. I can just I think the bangs needed a little more yeah curl. I was looking at that thinking that they kind of died off yeah, they did die off. So we've got to touch up the bangs real quick. Okay, so we fixed that. Now it's got more curl there. Oh my! I'm going to put a little bit of pomade because I feel like I didn't get any pomade in that. So, I love it. So that's how I do my hair right now. That's my latest hairstyle. Loving this wave thing. Probably going to trim up the front a little bit. But I like it. It raises my bangs right out of my eyes. So that's how it looks. There's a close-up. So you still have the waves. But it just gives volume something different i really like it it keeps it out of my eyes right now and i don't feel so i don't know i feel so blah when it was just laying there i'm not sure if i want to cut the height in it yet so that's why i've been keeping it long i'm just not sure what i'd want to do with my hair and right now we found this little waiver and i'm enjoying the style so if you haven't waved your hair and you're like wondering what to do with your hair try waving it you might enjoy it all right so i'm working on a new baby it's baby Kai Kine by Tina Kiwi. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it's K H I A N. Really sweet kit. I like Tina Kiwi's dolls. They're very realistic. They're cute. They're older kits. You know me and older kits. I like them a lot. Um, I love to do different babies. So it is a Tina Kiwi baby, and it's a newborn size baby. I think it had told me it'd be 18 inches, but this baby is definitely 19, 20 inches. Like, it's going to wear newborn really well. It would not wear any preemie clothes at all. It does have um, three-quarter limbs. No, full legs, three-quarter arms. Sorry. So it does have three-quarter arms, so half of the limbs are three-quarter. But, yeah, so this baby... Um, will be available soon today I plan to do the um, veining and mottling well right now I'm doing varnish so that's my varnish layer I am painting on my varnish I'm using right now is thick medium and I have it thinned down a lot I know that everybody is having issues finding the Genesis varnish so what are you guys doing because I have a lot of artists contacting me I've had a folklore paint shared with me privately, um, but what are you guys doing for varnish? Have you found a solution? Uh, how's it working? If so, can you share it in the comments so other artists know what they can use and how to use it, those who have been using it? Um, I have varnish for, that'll last me a little bit longer. I wonder what's happened to the Genesis varnish. I ordered through Jerry's Artorama, so maybe is there somewhere else to get it? I've tried to Google places and I haven't found anywhere. Has anyone contacted them to see like, hey, where's your varnish supply at? It's really odd that they just stopped making varnish. But you know, they used to make air dry gloss and one day they just stopped making that too, which we all thought was odd. And so here we are now, and they're not making varnish. Maybe there's just not enough um, business for them to make as much varnish. Like, they don't have enough artists that use Genesis heat set paint. I mean, I know I use them on vinyl, and I've baked it on ceramics before. But, like, I don't know what um, this paint would be used for, really, if it wasn't for Reborns. There, it's, I'm sure there is a purpose, like, what these... Maybe the what the artist uses paint for. If you guys know what Genesis is used for, let me know. I should Google it. I don't know why I've never looked up what um, Genesis heat set paint was originally like created for. Like, 
what kind of art is behind it, you know, their intentions for this paint to be used. So whatever their intentions were, I'm thinking that maybe that industry just doesn't have enough artists anymore. And so maybe that's why they stopped making it. I have no idea. I'm just hoping that it will come back. So if you guys know anything about the whole Genesis varnish just, you know, being MIA, feel free to share your opinions or share the facts that you know about it. And if you have a varnish that you guys can share with other artists who are out of the var uh, Genesis varnish, please let them know in the comments, you know, the brand, the name, and if you know the ratio that they need to mix and whatever, um, that would be awesome because I've been getting a lot of messages about that and I just don't, I'm not to that stage yet. Somebody shared something with me and I screenshot it, said thank you, saved it so I could use it or look into it when I'm at that point. I should look into it now versus being out of varnish and looking into it. But like I said, I have like a lot of varnish to get me through for a while, but still I should figure it out. So when I'm at that stage, I know what to use. But anyway, guys, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was different hair routine, a little bit of painting. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I always have so much fun with you guys. If you don't see me here and you wonder where I'm at, I'm probably on Instagram or TikTok. You can find me over there. Same username. All right, remember to stay safe, stay positive, and don't give in to those communistic Karens. They're not worth it. They're lower than pawns come. Just let them stay there. Block and move on. You guys are amazing. Never forget that. Bye.